Hello friends, my name is Rofi Kanwar. Welcome to my channel Psychic Programmers. Today I will be going to discuss about uh, Linux device driver interview question. Today's topic is what is Linux device tree? Friends, this can be asked in different form like uh, what is a flattened device tree? Yes, so before going to discuss about this uh, Linux device tree, I'll be uh, discussing some points. So the points are Linux device tree, why device tree is introduced and device tree source file that is called DTS and device tree compiler that, that is DTC and device tree binary that is DTB. So let's discuss about the Linux device tree. So before discussing, uh, I want to give some introduction uh, about this topic. So first of all, we have to know what is platform device. The onboard peripheral which connect to SPI, I2C, Ethernet, etc. have no capability to announce their existence on the board by themselves to the operating system. Platform are inherently not discoverable. What does it mean? Means uh, the hardware cannot say that I am present here to the software, means to the operating system. These peripherals are also called as platform device. So what is exactly uh, doing here? Means here suppose we have some peripheral connected to our processor. So that is there will be some input output pin, there will be some external SPI uh, device connected to that processor. Everything is there on the board. So many company, different different company can make their own board, right? So there must be some protocol to make the operating system understand. So in this device like SPI, I2C and Ethernet device that cannot be that cannot be capable to initiate any anything uh, to the operating system. That's why actually Linux device tree concept has been introduced. So I'll come to this uh, in very detail. So there will be some question in your mind. So which type of device has inbuilt intelligence to inform the operating system that I am present? So PCI or USB device has inbuilt intelligence to send its detail to the operating system that means PCI and USB support dynamic discoverability, right? So, <clears throat> so there will be one board.h file. In board.h file, all peripheral address, configuration, everything is written over there. So, you have to compile all the source code with board.h file for every board you are manufacturing, right? So, 
there is some problem with that so i'll come to the next point why device tree is introduced so basically i have already answered the question because every vendor has its own set of peripheral own set of devices in their board so whenever kernel updates or whenever new thing introduced to the kernel or any update which cause every board huge change right so every vendor comes up with a common solution that uh, this configuration part will be done through some different binaries okay so <clears throat> so i am just showing you what is that yes suppose we have a board this is a sitara board am3 35 soc system on chip so this this is suppose board 1 okay and is it has some configuration so board on dot board dot config dot c so it will compile and make you a kernel image u image that board one similarly for board two there will be a separate diff, separate board config file and for board 3 there will be separate board config file so these three image will be different so board 1 image cannot be run in board 2 and board 2 image cannot be run in board 3 so this is a, this this is a huge problem actually so for that the linux community has wanted to cut off the dependency of platform device enumeration from the linux kernel that is hard coding of platform device specific detail in the linux kernel right so we'll go to the previous location so the source code is written in device tree source file that is called dts so what is dts instead of hard coding the hardware detail into the linux kernel board file every board vendor has to come up with a file called dts this file actually consists of all the detail related to the board written using some predefined syntaxes so you can say that this file consists of data structure which describes all the required peripheral of the board right so <coughs> we can go and check the next picture like this picture can be transformed to this picture so here everything will be same only board 1 .dts board 2 .dts and board 3 .dts this will be different for every board so what i have written in the code section i will show you later on uh, how it look likes 
so there will be one board dot board one dot dtb means device three binary and board two dot dtb and board three dot dtb so our previous problem will be resolved with this approach now what is device tree compiler friends the device tree source code can be compiled with a compiler that is called dtc so dtc using dtc you can make the binary of that particular board that is called device tree binary right now the beauty of this technology is that when you edit the dts file to add a new entry you need to compile the kernel again you have to compile only the dts source code means you can save the compilation time of the kernel and you can avoid the avoid the compilation of the kernel so you need need, need to only compile the dt s file right now in the configuration file you have to mention the output device tree binary so it will load the device tree binary after booting and then kernel image will be loaded right so in this way we can inform the operating system that this is our configuration of my board right so let's have a look on the dts means a device tree source file how it look like so I have a source code. I have a source code of uh, Linux kernel 4.20.6. This is the latest kernel as of now. So we will go to the arc folder. Then Here we will go to the ARM folder. Now I have gone to the boot folder. There, there is a folder called DTS, right? I have highlighted the folder called DTS. So here is our all DTS file present in this folder. So yes. So all the DTS file, like every DTS file present in this folder, right? So every vendor has some unique DTS DTS file. 
so you can see this is a dts file this is a dts file this dts file is a uh, uh, for ti ti sitara board okay so let's open this yes this is texas instrument so this is the syntax how it this is the syntax how it uh, uh, write actually so i'll come to this every every detail in some other video so otherwise the video will be very much longer i think you have all you have understood what is device tree linux device tree so friend please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and hit the dislike button if you dislike it also put some comment so that i can understand uh, how can i improve our video quality or something right so thank you for watching